James Holder for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Gym while back and Hennessy Sports. We're in Monte Carlo, it's big fight week. With me, I've got undefeated prospect Huey Fury. What's happening, Huey? I'm good, how are you, mate? I'm very well, I'm very well. Talk to me a little bit about your fight. We've just seen the weigh-in. You're fighting Andre Rodenko tomorrow in Monte Carlo. Um, how much do you know about Andre? I know he's a tough and durable fella, so he'll get me a good few rounds out and uh, I'm looking for a good fight. Mm. Can't wait to get in there now, do the job and relax. I mean, you must be so relieved to be getting in the ring. It's been well documented that your problems with your virus and your illness, mostly trying to work out what it was other than anything else. So yeah, put all that behind you is a good feeling? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad it's all behind me. You're now ready to fight. And uh, like you say, it's been torture. For right. so long being out the ring and doing absolutely nothing, mm. I'm glad to be finally back in there. I mean, as well as as well as that, obviously everyone else in your, in your family and in the camp's got their fights, their training, their dates. So it must have been a little bit hard for yourself. It was. I had to keep cancelling fights all the time. And uh, I was absolutely sick of it, mm. just thinking what's going up. And then he found out. I was allergic, had allergies to all different types of food, all dairy products and everything, so that was a downside as well. So mm. I'm on the right track now, I'm in shape and I, how you say, a good fight. Had a look as well, the spots on your back seem to be clearing up a lot more since you found out about the allergies and stuff. Yeah, they've, uh, all the skin's clearing up now, I'm on the right track mm. from recovery. Mm. So like, hopefully now it will clear up, So because it's not been that long ago since I've really found out the problem, it's been about five weeks <laughs> when they found the problem out, so yeah. I can't wait now. Interesting enough, Martin Murray, we found out he was actually allergic to gluten. He didn't He didn't know until he got um, well, basically a, um, a dietitian where he had the money to pay for that. They actually found out he was eating pasta for his last 10 fights before and he's actually allergic to it. No way. So yeah, these, these things you find out on the way sometimes, don't you? Of course you do, yeah. Mm. You have to... It's about having the right team behind you, really. Of course. And then it's like my dad, we found this problem, we had the right people behind us and uh, backed us up all the way, so mm. and now we got to the problem. Mm. Your dad said you even visited Harley Street to try and find out what was going on. Yeah, visit all these famous doctors, all these places, and absolutely done nothing. So mm. Mm. it was like just one big track. Finally got to the end of it now. Mm. I mean, Andre Rudenko, um, as we spoke about already earlier, you, you've seen him in action against Lucas Brown. He's an awkward opponent. He yeah, a little bit. Yeah, he's, got, he's got a good record. He's, uh, he gives uh, Lucas Brown a good fight, a very good fight. So uh, I'm looking forward to see how he gets on with me. Mm. I mean, this is high end boxing. The venue holds less than a thousand people. Ringside tickets rumoured to be around 15,000 upwards. Yeah, it's a proper class event and mm. uh, no, it was a pleasure as well to fight in the undercard of Martin Murray of course. and uh, Gigi. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so a fantastic venue, isn't it? Yeah. With that said and how much money the people are paying for their tickets, does that put pressure on you guys to put on more of a show? No, it isn't. It's always about being relaxed in there. Yeah. I wouldn't. What's the point of putting pressure on yourself about mm. pleasing Jingy? you just got to stay calm and do your job on the night, that's it. Mm. I mean, it's really good to get you back in the mix because before this virus, there was a lot of talk about, about you fighting potentially some of the, the bigger prospects in, in the scene in Britain as well. So the likes of Anthony Joshua, that fight was spoke about quite a lot. Listen, we are about talking about them. This is all about me mm -hmm. at this moment. And it's an... As far as I'm concerned, I'm taking over them at the moment with this one fight because they're not fighting anyone like me, are they? So I'm only 20 year old and I'm stepping up and fighting men. Mm. So Sometimes I think we forget that you are actually still 20 years old. You no, know? I think people actually do forget that. Yeah, of course, but uh, no, I'm just looking forward to my fight and like I say, it'll be good. You don't see many people at my age taking these type of fights up. You say Andrew Joshua, he's not fought no one like on the same calibre really, has he yet? Is there any truth in the rumour you'll be singing yourself into an Elvis song? Maybe. <laughs> I've been hearing it from the Furies. Can you, can you confirm or deny this is going to happen? You'll find out on the night because I'm not too sure yet. <laughs> you'll see. <laughs> Alright, well, listen, Huey, I can't thank you enough. It's great to have you back. I wish you the best of luck for what you're doing, sir. Thank you for talking to IFL TV. No problem. God bless you.